my son, he was caught, we caught snook up the river. We threw purple and black bomb. Tarpon I call purple and black fly. Dark water, dark lures. Early in the morning, dark lures. Especially if you're looking. When they look up, it gives a lot better silhouette. He asked me what they taste like. When I pull a live shrimp out of the well, if I'm fishing with a live shrimp, mostly it's going to be a circle hook with a split shot. Less is more. Okay? All I wanted to be able to get to the bottom. So according to the current, I may have to put on two split shots. I may have to put on a small egg. All I wanted to do is get to the bottom. But if I'm going to fish it like I was telling you, I want it to be able to move. Another thing, when you're working this, if you're not hooking the bottom every once in a while, you're not fishing deep enough or slow enough. First thing I want to do when I pull a shrimp out of the live well, I'm going to bite the tail off of it. Shrimp has no flavor until you season them. Okay? What I'm going to do is, I bite the tail off for two reasons. One, when that shrimp hits the water, it's going to release a lot more scent than if I didn't bite the tail. Okay? And I either bite him or use clippers. I don't try to pinch him off with my hand because it tears. You want more of a clean cut if you can. I carry scissors on the boat too, but I, I just bite the shrimp for effect. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that shrimp and I'm going to hook him right here. Bottom up. bottom to the top and that's all I'm going to that's out, out, every bit of hook that's going to be in there again with a split shot Did you go all the way through all the way through I would pass this around down the little I'll tell you what let me put this in. That's how I'm going to fish that shrimp. One reason, aerodynamically, his weight is away from him. So when you throw him, you get 10, 15 more foot when you cast him. Okay. Another reason is, when a shrimp, I want to hook him in the back. Because when a shrimp jumps, he's trying to get away from something, back he jumps to the back. If you're flowing that shrimp into, into you know, you can anchor up current, and just a little, little bit of line out, and that shrimp's going to swim. He'll still swim like that. His tail taking off, it, it keeps him from jumping back. It doesn't keep him from swimming. So he'll still stay alive. And he, I, when I put him on a cork, I do it the same way. Because he'll swim up with that hook. But he'll swim away from it. And then if it's, if it's a little deeper water, and I'm fishing those holes, Same thing, I'm going to use a jig head. Take a jig head, hook that shrimp right about the first, just one section up from the tail. That's it. What size? He's, I, I, yeah, about an eighth inch. No, eight ounce. Eight ounce, I mean. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. As hard as do. <laughs> what knot do you tie for the? Uh, I still use non-slip loop. Loop. Non-slip loop on my jigs. Yeah. It's like I said. It's a 95% knot. Is you know, plus my jig goes. You know, I can pull that knot. That jig will move around. Now, when you're using live shrimp, do you actually do you just throw it out, and leave it, or do you? Are you no, I'm working it. Working. It. Just working it slow. I hardly ever. When I throw, when I do one like that, normally sometimes I'll. I'm up current and I'll cast it and let it drift a little bit, settle down, and then I'll, that is one of the few <laughs> times that I'm anchor, anchored directly up from the hole maybe, is when you got a current and I'll throw that shrimp out, let him settle down, then I'll pick him up off the bottom, current will take him, let him settle down again, 
You can sit in one spot and work that hole. Maybe a stupid question. What do you do, though? I mean, it happens as far as grass. Grass? I mean, You'd be surprised how little grass this circle hook, I mean, that circle hook here catches up. That's what I use, that circle hook with the bass assassin or whatever. I use that when it's real grassy, a little cockroach. You'd be surprised how well that circle hook, because just a little bit of it out. How now you said you were there. reeling it in. I mean, are you reeling it just to keep it above the grass, or are you trying to get down into the... Oh, this? I use, I'm using this when I'm fishing a hole. Right, but you were talking about one of them. You just, you, when you throw out, you're just in a nice, slow retreat. Yeah. So you're just yeah. trying to keep it right above get the grass. Get right above the grass. Well, see, now that, that, that's, that's the key with the split shot being about six, eight inches above the lure. Split shot's going to be hitting the bottom. Right. The lure's going to be sitting above the grass. You see what I'm saying? You don't use a popping cork on them? I hardly ever do. <clears throat> but I mean, I sometimes, if I use a popping cork, then I'm using that shrimp with the circle hook. No. I hardly ever use, use a popping cork. Because I'm not normally anchored up, you know. Very, yes, sir. So, when you're fishing like that, so do you, do you say bass and sass? That's like the, the jerk bait, the long yes. mm -hmm. stick bait. Mm -hmm. So, if you rig that weedless, like you would like a, a bass worm, where you just got the tip sticking out along like a bass hook, right? Yeah, but this will do the this will do the same thing. Plus, the nose will settle down better. But the way I hook it, the, the thing too is when that fish takes that from the front, which way is the hook facing? Back. If you, you see what I'm saying, if you sit, if you feed the hook in and put it in the body itself. But the action of that in that shallow water, I mean, because it, you can cast it. In To me, yeah, I, I like that better than you do. I do this a lot. Yeah, this works, this, a lot better. this works a lot better. This works a lot better for me. Real, real shallow water. Yeah, this works a lot better for me. Now, when do you do the difference as far as rigging a jig? A jig, I use a jig. Or rigging it through the with the circle through the nose. I mean, what makes the difference how you rig? Well, now these the ones I'm doing in the tail is a shrimp. No, like the, the first two. You have one rig oh, yeah, kind of standard, yeah. and then you have one rigged on a circle hook. Yeah. When, yeah, do, you, get, when do you use each one of them? If I'm fishing a deep hole, I want to use a jig head. Okay. Okay. I mean, so. When I, but I, hard, I don't hardly ever use a jig head. I mean, like. Yeah. <laughs> once, once you get used to your circle hooks, you don't want to fish anything but circle hooks. Well, here's, yeah, we fish all circle hooks. I mean, here's the thing. Our boat, I can float it 12 inches of water. Yeah. And I can run my trolling motor. Okay. I mean, I like to have more 14 right. to 17. So, we obviously can't get in a fish nine inches of water. Right. Ten inches right. of water. Right. So, we're, our, most of our fish most, is, is, is in the two foot thing. Well, most of time fishing is one to three foot. Right. So, do you most use of my head then? Or no. Do you, no. Just a no. circle hook with this? No. Okay. With a split shot. With a split shot. Maybe two split shots. So, a circle shot. hook through the front of that, that jig, not the that, shrimp. That's through right. Through the front of the jig. Through the front? Yeah. Okay. Use the, you know, and I, I try to use something with a scent. Bass Assassin has a scent right. to it. So you golf, know, anything like I that. I want something with a scent. You know, Z-Man. I haven't tried those. Some, some people say they've been working really well. Was that uh, Trigger X? Have you tried any of those? I don't know. I haven't tried any of those. Because Bass Assassin works for me, so you hardly ever. So those are better than the DOAs then, the Bass Assassin. It's whatever you really Yeah. It's whatever, you, you know, I, for me, for me, yeah, because, I, you know, I think it has more scent. And I, I just like, and it's a small, little bit smaller bait. You got to remember in the winter time now, these fish are fixing to turn around, and they're gonna be, they're gonna be looking for something little, because they don't want to use all their energy to digest something big. Okay, plus the bait around is gonna be small. So you need to pay attention to what's around, and what they're eating, <coughs> because that's the crabs are gonna be small, shrimp are gonna be little. So on those paddle tails, are you jigging them at all, or are you just doing a slow retrieval? Both. All right. I'll use both until I figure out a pattern. Okay. It's just like, you know, I mean, you know, one day you can throw it on his nose and he'll turn away, and next day you can throw it 30 foot from him and he'll run over and gobble it up. So, you know, but usually if you can set a pattern, that pattern's going to be consistent for at least four or five days probably, if not longer. Same situation, yes, sir. But what size circle is that? One or one oh? That's that's about a that's about a one aught. Is that what yeah. you fish with normally? Mm -hmm. A one aught? Yeah, no, anywhere from a one to a one aught. Okay. 
Um, I hardly ever go above a one knot. Now sometimes if I want to be fishing sheephead, mangrove snapper in the wintertime up in these holes, then I, then I may go on down to, uh, you know, like a two or a four. And the trick with sheephead is you have to know to get a sheep's head, the trick is you set the hook just before he strikes. Just before he strikes. <laughs> <laughs> <Am I> right? <laughs> too is I'll take this bass assassin rig it up just like I did but I'll either take clear or maybe if I can find brown colored clear beads like they use for rigging for whatever you know normally pink or white but you can get them at Joanne's Fabrics <laughs> but I'll, I'll get root beer or clear put two of them on your line in front of the split shot when you jig that, when you move that, those are going to click. So above the split shot? Above or above, it doesn't matter. It'll hit the hook, it'll do the same thing. You put it between the split shot and the, and the bait. But either way, when you reel it up, it's going to, they're going to slide down. But every time you move them, they'll click together. So that'll make a clicking noise. And when it comes to like the soft plastics guy, you know, use what's comfortable to you. Yeah. Because when it comes to the scented, you can go by now. Golf has its own scent in a spray bottle. Uh, I know CA has a um, procure. 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 Yeah, procure. procure. You can sit there and buy a stick on there the whole nine right. yards. So use what you're used to using. Right. You know, you can trim them up, take some scissors, cut them down to the size, cut them in half, do whatever it is you want to. But when it comes to the scent, you know, pick your poison on it. And now they even have the golf that come in the tubs yeah. that you can sit there and put other plastics in there. Because I know Jay Z and I can take some of our grouper. Um, use soft plastics when we troll for grouper, but we'll take those soft plastics and we'll stick them in that Ziploc bag that has that golf set in there, just because it, it stinks and they right. want it. It'll change the color of your lure, so you may want to you know, keep an eye on that. It, with Jay's and I, they don't last long anyway. Right. <laughs> so you said during the winter, you're using small. So like this time now, you're using yeah. bigger? Yeah, of course the Bass Assassin, I basically use the same size all year round. Yeah. Because I'm back back country, so it's imitating a chub, a tiger chub. It's what we used to call snook candy. So if you're out, tiger chub. you're out more like we were talking about in a little bit. So would you use a bigger then, or would you still just stay? I still stay pretty small. Yeah. Hey, Jim, what what do you do? You've got small bait, Jim. Well, I don't know. I bring Steve Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. I don't know. 